Hey there, this is Miss Caitlin from FIBO Kids Art Academy and I'm here to share with you today a quick drawing warm-up. Now our warm-up today is actually creating a sketch for a contest. Quick disclaimer, <laughs> we're not affiliated with the organization um, that is holding this contest, nor are we affiliated with the contest in any way. Um, we just found this and thought it was a great opportunity to share with you guys about different ways that you can get your art out there in the world. As well, I think the contest topic and the theme are very, very important. So again, just very excited to share it with you guys uh, and get some inspiration about what we can draw. Again, not affiliated with the organization in any way. <laughs> just excited to share it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my desk so I can explain a little bit more about what this contest is and as well kind of what we're gonna to create today just for our quick drawing warm up. All right, so this is called the Fish Art Contest and this is put on by the Wildlife Forever organization. Um, their website is really, really interesting as well. They have different um, kind of guidelines and rules for you to follow if you want to enter the contest. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to check it out so you can see a more complete list of guidelines, rules, what you need to submit, etc, etc. I won't be getting too much into those specifics today. Really, I just want to show you guys how to draw a very simple fish. Now, first what we're gonna do is we actually are gonna talk a little bit about what uh, you should draw for the contest. There is a drawing component from what I've gathered as well as a creative writing uh, component, so there's two. So I'm only really gonna be talking about the first part which is the um, drawing a fish from their official fish list. So the fish that I've chosen today for our example is the white sand bass. Now, you guys are gonna have to do some in some research maybe about a fish that you want to draw for warm-up today, but if this is the fish you want to draw along with me, there we go. So if you want to enter this contest, your submissions are due by March 31st. Again, all of this information is on their website. Check it out in the description. What we're going to do today is we're just going to sketch out a quick idea, and um, if we were in a live class, we would share those different ideas together. What's going to be really helpful for this warm-up is if you have an actual picture of the fish that you want to draw up in front of you. So for example, um, I actually have a picture of the fish that I'm drawing. Here's the white sand bass. So I can use this kind of as a reference and draw from observation. Um, that way I have a better understanding of how the fish looks, what it looks like maybe in its natural habitat, if I was going to do more research into that. Um, that's a really big part of uh, the contest as well, if you are interested in entering. Okay, without further ado, go ahead and grab a piece of sketch paper and let's go ahead and just kind of understand the shapes of a fish in general. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and draw with a Sharpie today, but I want you to draw with a pencil. This is uh, just so that you guys can see, pencil doesn't show up super well on my camera, but a Sharpie is gonna be very dark so that way you can see what I'm drawing. All right, so again, I've already kind of understood a little bit more about how the white sand bass looks, so I'm able to kind of start with the contour lines, but you guys maybe if you're looking at one of your fish from the official fish list for the first time, or maybe if you're just like, I don't know how to draw fish, what do I do? This is the basic shape that we want to start with. Um, fish, for the most part, especially these kinds of fish like bass, uh, they kind of have almost like a leaf shape or a football shape to them. Of course, we know when we see them in real life or when we see a picture of them, they're not perfectly that shape. There's a lot of different contour lines and organic lines going on, but generally speaking, um, kind of starting off the, the drawing, the meat of it really, is we want to draw a leaf shape. So make sure that your paper is turned horizontal side to side. This way you will be able to draw most of the fish and it will look proper on your paper. As well, if you are interested in drawing the contest, I believe their submissions have to be horizontal. So go ahead and draw just a really big leaf shape or like a football shape. So this is our basic shape. It almost kind of looks like an eye, doesn't it? Now again, every fish is going to be a little bit different. Um, my fish today, I know because it is a bass, I have to kind of think about different contour lines. Maybe for you, if you've chosen a different fish, you might have to think about your contour lines differently. Now contour lines are kind of like if we outlined the object or outlined um, the thing that we're drawing with its real line. So I'm actually gonna switch colors here. I'm gonna switch to just a blue marker so that you can see what I mean. So check this out. I would be looking at my reference of the fish and I would notice, and I do, in fact, I'll even show you on our example here, that the nose or kind of like the front part of the fish kind of comes in a little bit. And I also noticed on my reference photo that kind of this top half of the fish, right about here, kind of comes out a little bit. And this shape 
isn't completely, um, it's not smooth like you would see a rainbow, for example. It kind of almost has like a bump to it here. So I'm gonna make sure to draw those lines in. I'm gonna start from probably right about here. I'm gonna curve that line a little bit. Again, you're doing this all with your pencil. I'm just showing you with a different color so that you can see. The basic shape helps me because it shows me where I would need to go. If I was trying to make these lines all just by sight without having this basic shape to help me underneath, it may not come out as accurate. So there's the top half of the fish, the contour lines. And then down below, I noticed that for the most part, the front part of the fish is curved. But as I get towards the back, it might be a little tricky to see here because I have uh, some plant in the way, but it actually kind of goes upwards into the tail. So it's not completely this perfect curved line like it shows in our basic shape. It does kind of just go up a little bit and then back out. As for the tail, every fish's tail is going to be just a little bit different. I noticed for the white sand bass, um, the tail is kind of big and so it kind of comes out in almost like this sideways V shape. sort of like this. And then we have the fins as they come in. So there's the contour line for the main body of the fish. You can see all of those extra lines, like you can see with my Sharpie. You actually don't need them. You could erase those lines now. I obviously can't because I've done this in Sharpie, but you would erase any of those extra lines that you no longer need. From here, we can go ahead and start adding in larger shapes. So let's go ahead and add in the fins. So you would begin adding in maybe like the fins of your fish. We won't get too far into the details just yet, but I know on my little fish here, uh, the fin kind of comes up and then there's another section of the fin over here. So you're really kind of observing what does this fish look like in real life and how best can we capture it in our drawing? Now you can see I'm going kind of fast here. That's okay, you don't have to go at the same pace as me. You can pause the video when you like. Okay, so I kind of have the contour of those fins on the top. There is a fin on the bottom here and a fin off to the side. And I'll draw in the shape as I saw it in my reference. Again, very simple. And now we can start working on maybe some parts on the inside here. So of course we have the eye, which is just gonna be a circle. We've got the mouth. And then we have the different sections of the head. Now you could really get into some of the shapes here on the fish. You'll probably notice the more that you observe and draw what you see, the more interesting kind of shapes come to life and that you can notice. After you've added in your large shapes, you can begin adding in details. You can start kind of adding in maybe like the individual little parts of the fin. Again, these are details that you would probably add at the end. As well, fish are covered in those scales, right? Which make them so kind of shiny and I think really pretty. So when you go to draw those in, you could choose to draw them in with graphite if you're going for a uh, maybe a monochromatic look. Or you could always kind of color them in too. Really observe and take a look at maybe how your fish has its different scales lined up. So I noticed on the white sand bass here that it kind of has the scale sort of in these lines, these little rows. Some fish will also have patterns within their scales. So just pay attention to those things. Now, this contest is so cool because it really asks us to kind of look at our relationship with fish and kind of look at the way that fish live in their natural habitat and just get us kind of psyched about all the really cool things that kind of fish are up to and are about. Um, so when you're going to create your own entry, you can kind of play with the composition a little bit more. Of course, this is just a very basic warm up to kind of understand, you know, the shape of a fish in general from a um, a straight on view, but 
maybe you can have a little bit more fun with it. I would encourage you to check out their website and kind of see um, maybe the different kind of submissions, maybe what they're looking for. I believe they also have a video up on there for you to check out too. Alrighty, so this fish I found out uh, just from some very quick research that I did that this is a freshwater fish. It typically lives in open water and is migratory uh, and they're most active during dawn and dusk. It's pretty cool, right? As well, you can eat these fish. They are edible. So it's going to be important, I think, in your own composition, if you are doing this to kind of create, you know, a full-fledged illustration in the end, kind of think about and do research on what your fish's habitat is going to be. Now, for that, you might have to, you know, do a little bit more research, like I said, but then you can start thinking about, okay, maybe I can add in some plant life. And I would probably also get like a reference of the different plant life or species that your fish would be typically surrounded by. So I'm just sketching in here really quickly, just some very basic plant shapes, just to give you an idea of maybe one way you can lay out the composition. Again, I would encourage you to maybe, you know, try out some different interesting ways to arrange the plants, or maybe even you could draw the fish from an aerial view or even from down below. Have some fun with it, get creative. And there we go. Once you're done, again, this is a, still very much a sketch, but to give you an idea of how to clean it up a little bit, you can erase those extra lines from the basic shape. Again, adding in different little plant life, you could even add bubbles, have some fun with it. Now again, I will leave the link to the organization's website with the contest in the description so that you can check it out a little bit more. I think this is a great opportunity for you guys if you want to uh, get your artwork out there or if you are just interested in drawing a picture of a fish and having a lot of fun kind of researching um, the animals that live in our world. All right, you guys, that concludes our little quick warm up for today. I hope you had fun and I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye.